Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about how to build a sound diffuser. Now I emphasize those two words, sound diffuser, because a diffuser is a specific tool that must satisfy five rigid criteria in order to produce a, a diffuse sound field. We're not going to go into it in this video. You can go on our website and research that and we discuss that uh, in our YouTube channel. But how to build a sound diffuser. For us, the only true diffusion technology in the marketplace today is quadratic. Quadratic is predictable and consistent. A quadratic diffuser is like a speaker. It has a frequency response. It has a low end, it has a high end, and it has everything in between. So it's a tool. It's a great acoustical tool for making small rooms sound much larger. So let's look at the process of building a sound diffuser. And we have DIY uh, kits on our website. So how do we look at it? We look at it as two parts. We have a cabinet. And you can see in this uh, graphic here that we have a cabinet. And inside the cabinet, we have the diffuser. Now the diffuser is a series of slots. Okay, vertical slots with different depths of wells. And the depth of the well is based on quarter wavelength and the width of the well is based on half wavelength. So it's a combination of how wide the wells are and how deep they are that produce the frequency response, which you must match to your room. One of the things that you have to realize in building a diffuser is the vertical wells are made of what we call small wood. They're very thin, quarter inch. We all know with wood that it has moisture in it and over time it starts to dry out. So with quarter inch, vertical wells, we must dado or provide slots in the cabinet of the diffuser in order to keep that wood rigid. So two or three years, four years after you build this thing, you don't want, you know, an S. You don't want to wiggle in your vertical because that'll affect performance. So by dadoing the back of the cabinet, the top of the cabinet, and the bottom of the cabinet, you avoid that phenomenon. Secondly, you want to select the right wood. Every wood choice has a particular tonal quality. The woods that we like in our diffuser builds are cherry, alder, and pine. They're more soft, they have a warm tone in the mid-range, and those are your three most economical woods. Cherry being the most expensive, alder second in cost, and then uh, pine, uh, it would be third. Another one that we use is basswood. That's another great wood. So depending on what region of the country you're in, uh, you have to uh, pick the soft wood. If you have any questions, just call me and I'll be able to help you out. Just remember, a diffuser is two parts, cabinet, and then the internal part, which consists of the vertical wells and the horizontal slots, and the wood choices that we like for the warm tonal quality, because diffusion is really a middle range phenomena, are cherry, alder, birch, and basswood. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.